Derek Draper, Create Space, How to Manage Time and Find Focus, Productivity and Success. Welcome to the exciting world of Create Space, How to Manage Time and Find Focus, Productivity and Success by Derek Draper. In this engaging summary, discover how to unlock the full potential of your brain and pave the way for personal and professional growth by adopting a growth mindset, open to continual self-development through learning and reflection. Explore the concept of a core pathogenic beliefs in order to address fears and setbacks in life and career, and gain valuable insights into building meaningful relationships and emotional intelligence through creating space for reflection and connection. Additionally, dive into strategies for planning, prioritizing, and delivering plans to enhance productivity and achieve your goals. Embrace growth through learning. Embracing a growth mindset allows us to make space for learning and overcome fears, such as the fear of failure. Neuroplasticity disproves the fixed mindset, showing that our brains are always capable of learning and adapting. By acknowledging and addressing the sources of our fears, we can shift our perspective and see failure as an opportunity for growth. To create an environment conducive to learning, dedicate time, discover suitable spaces, and seek helpful resources like mentors. Our ability to learn and grow is directly connected to the mindset we adopt. Many people believe in either a fixed mindset, where learning has limits, or a growth mindset, where continuous learning is possible. This fixed mindset has been proven incorrect through the scientific study of our brains. Renowned neuroscientist Dr. Michael Mersnick discovered that our brains possess neuroplasticity, meaning they can change and adapt based on the information we absorb. A healthy brain constantly learns, allowing us to overcome our fears, such as the fear of failure. For example, a 2015 study showed one-third of all Americans admitting a fear of failure, with millennials being the most affected group. To combat this, we can incorporate failure into our growth mindset and view it as an opportunity to learn. One notable instance of this transformation came when a woman named Rachel, employed at a global snack company, confronted her fear of failure and catastrophic thinking. Through reflection and addressing the root cause of her fears, which originated from her mother's struggles with unemployment and homelessness, Rachel learned to change her perspective. By realizing that asking for help is not synonymous with failure, she gradually built a more growth-oriented outlook. Creating a conducive space for learning requires effort, including the allocation of time, finding a suitable space, and acquiring valuable resources such as mentors. By embracing a growth mindset, we make room for continuous learning, self-improvement, and the ability to conquer our fears. Master Your Emotional Intelligence to achieve success and foster strong relationships, it's crucial to establish a connection with oneself first. By observing your emotions, and performing feeling and number check-ins, you can enhance your emotional intelligence. This self-awareness aids in recognizing and addressing core pathogenic beliefs CPBs, which may be holding you back in various aspects of life. To thrive in both personal and professional life, it's indispensable to create spaces for connecting. While this connection benefits relationships, the key to unlocking this potential lies in building a bond with yourself. Delving inward to address bodily sensations and mental processes enables better self-awareness. Examining your emotions is vital to this step. We are all exposed to strong emotional waves, which can direct our actions and choices. Carving out a space to connect and understand your feelings helps ensure they do not dictate your life. This understanding is built on routinely inspecting and processing your emotions. One effective technique to employ is the feeling and number check-in. Find a comfortable space, take deep breaths, and ask yourself about your emotions. Identify a feeling and assign it a value between 1 and 10, reflecting its intensity. The same can be done for physical sensations like shoulder tightness or chest constriction. If numerous emotions arise at once, picture yourself as an observer floating above the emotional storm. This introspection fosters emotional intelligence, an attribute encompassing the management of one's emotions, empathy, and relationship management. 
Developing this emotional intelligence puts you in a prime position to identify core pathogenic beliefs, CPBs, limiting thoughts rooted in past experiences that might hinder your progress. Identifying CPBs, such as the fear of asking for help, feeling unworthy of love or distrusting others, can reveal the barriers hindering growth in your career or relationships. These beliefs often stem from childhood experiences, but recognizing and confronting them requires deliberate introspection and seeking connection within oneself. Building Authentic Connections To create meaningful relationships and achieve success, it's essential to establish open lines of communication that foster transparency and trust within teams. By dedicating space to understand and discuss the relational issues amongst peers, you pave the way for personal and team growth. A stakeholder map is a valuable tool to help prioritize and refine relationships, which in turn enhances overall well-being and leadership capabilities. Recognizing and owning the emotions within yourself is only the first step, true success requires connecting with others around you. By constructing an environment that nurtures sharing and relating with others, you pave the way for more robust teams and meaningful personal relationships. A case in point is a global beverage company, where a team led by a cheerful leader named Bayada consistently struggled to meet performance targets. It was discovered that the team's culture of obligatory niceness obstructed open communication, causing problems to go unaddressed and stifle their performance. Once this barrier was removed, transparency prevailed, allowing team members to express concerns, resolve issues, and cultivate a sense of safety that fostered risk-taking and growth. The team's newfound purpose and vitality soon steered them onto the right track. Creating space for open communication lays the foundation for stronger relationships. Dwayne and Catherine O'Kane's book, Real, The Power of Authentic Relationships, 2016, emphasizes that most problems, from reduced productivity and morale to anxiety and depression, stem from relational issues. By dedicating time to strengthen relationships, you directly address these underlying problems. To identify areas for improvement in your relationships, utilize a stakeholder map. Draw yourself at the center, connecting to all the individuals in your life, be it a teammate, partner, or the security guard at work. Rate each relationship from 1 to 10 on the depth and strength of the connection. While not every relationship requires a perfect score, the map highlights who you should focus your efforts on. Investing in your relationships might seem daunting at first, but the positive impact on your well-being and capability to lead is undeniably worth it. Mastering productivity through planning. Embracing spontaneity might be thrilling, but to truly be productive, planning is essential. A prime example of inadequate planning can be observed in Red Technologies, a company led by two brothers, Tom and Darren. As the company grew, so did the disorder and confusion, primarily due to Darren's reluctance to set clear goals. While startups often shy away from long-term plans, incorporating flexibility within one- to three-year plans can be beneficial. Achieving optimal productivity requires setting clear goals and devising robust strategies to accomplish them. Unlike Darren, who preferred to save the day, by taking care of urgent issues, productivity depends on proactively preventing chaos and staying focused on delivering. In the case of Red Technologies, Darren's habit of tackling issues as they arose led to disorganization and a decline in productivity. When teams are unclear about their priorities, the result is inefficiency and ultimately, a lack of delivery. To combat this, it's essential to create clear goals and establish a roadmap for achieving them. Incorporating flexibility within long-term plans fosters adaptability, which is crucial in fast-changing environments. Regular meetings to reassess goals and the company's vision can ensure continuous growth and productive progress. For instance, when the author set out to write Create Space, he knew he needed to pen about 120,000 words. By devising a year-long plan that committed him to writing 10,000 words per month, 2,500 words per week, and 500 words daily, he was able to stay on track. Even though he sometimes fell short or exceeded his goals, the plan kept him focused on delivery rather than merely staying busy. In conclusion, the key to unlocking productivity lies in effective planning, setting clear goals, 
and developing meticulous strategies. By proactively managing tasks and avoiding the temptation to merely appear busy, individuals and businesses alike can reach their full potential and continue to thrive. Mastering Productivity Amid Distractions In today's world of constant distractions, maintaining focus and increasing productivity is crucial. Overcoming interruptions, resisting dopamine-driven urges, and effectively prioritizing tasks with the 4D rule, do, defer, delegate, or drop, are essential for achieving efficient time management and successful leadership. Our world is filled with distractions, and statistics back up the toll they are taking, CEOs only have approximately 28 minutes of uninterrupted work time per day, and the average worker's attention span is a mere 8 seconds. Plus, it takes nearly 10 minutes to regain full concentration after each interruption. As such, it's vital to minimize distractions and maintain focus. One reason distractions are so seductive lies in dopamine, the brain's pleasure-giving neurochemical. Emails, texts, and other interruptions trigger a dopamine release, making it difficult to resist their allure. To combat this, hide your phone while working and suppress pop-up notifications to avoid breaking your concentration. Open office layouts can be problematic as well, so consider headphones or relocating to a quiet space like a conference room or cafe to maintain your focus. Staying in the zone is crucial for producing top-quality work. Effectively prioritizing tasks is another key aspect of productivity. Utilizing an organized to-do list and discerning the importance of tasks is essential. One practical approach to prioritizing involves the 4D rule, do, defer, delegate, or drop. First, identify which tasks fall into the do category, those that are urgent and necessary, requiring your input. Place the most difficult or daunting of these tasks at the beginning of your to-do list to minimize the temptation for procrastination. When assigning tasks to the defer category, consider those not immediately actionable, while the delegate category should include tasks that don't require your personal involvement. Lastly, any non-essential or low-impact tasks can be placed in the to drop category, eliminating them from your workload. As you progress, revisit your deferred tasks and re-evaluate their classification. You might need to move them into the do or drop categories or delegate them to others. Proper delegation is an essential skill, and knowing when and how to delegate tasks is a distinctive characteristic of effective leadership. Mastering the Art of Leadership Embrace the third space in leadership by empowering and trusting your team members, rather than dominating the problem-solving process. Encourage them to find their own solutions, delegate tasks that challenge their skills and align with their goals, and clearly communicate your expectations for the task's outcome. In the realm of leadership, there's a unique concept called the third space, the space that arises when two people collaborate to solve a problem. One common mistake leaders make is taking control of this space and leaving no room for others to contribute. While this approach may seem helpful to some, it can disempower those who want to learn and grow. An effective leader's role is to inspire and empower, guiding team members into the third space and allowing them to find solutions themselves. As the Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, true leadership is when people say, we did it ourselves. To accomplish this, rather than jumping in with an answer, consider asking questions that enable others to discover their own solutions. Delegation is another powerful tool for empowering team members. Some leaders worry that delegating tasks may appear as if they're unloading tough challenges onto others. However, this mindset misunderstands the true value of delegation. Instead, consider delegation as an opportunity for growth and skill development, signifying trust in the individual's ability to perform well. To make the most of delegating, Think about what tasks will push and challenge your team members, while also aligning with their career aspirations. When assigning tasks, be mindful of clearly outlining the desired outcome and expectations without dictating the exact method for completion. This flexibility opens the door for team members to find creative and potentially more effective solutions. By leaving room for others in the third space, asking thoughtful questions, delegating purposefully, 
and clearly defining expectations, leaders can empower their teams and foster growth, trust, and collaboration while achieving collective success. Unleashing your true passion. Discovering your true passion can transform your life, bringing you joy and success while avoiding burnout and regret. Reconnect with what you genuinely love, consider life's brevity, and break free from the false expectation that work must be a miserable chore. Sitting in your school days, what activities genuinely ignited your passion? Are you still pursuing those passions today? If not, now is the time to ponder what changed. Reflecting on these questions can lead you toward creating space for your authentic self to flourish. One individual named Oscar had become the CIO of a prominent bank, yet he was utterly miserable. After a series of coaching sessions with the author, his true passion emerged, farming. His cherished memories revolved around working on his family's farm. Despite losing the farm and ending up in a corporate job, Oscar decided to embrace his true calling and quit his banking career, even though it created a crisis. Like Oscar, each person has the power to carve out space for the person they genuinely aspire to be, beginning with an honest self-assessment of current choices. Many find themselves entangled in practical jobs, fulfilling someone else's expectations at the cost of their desires. This trade-off often leads to a common deathbed regret, not living life authentically but merely conforming to societal expectations. Recognizing death's inevitability is a powerful prompt encouraging one to live life authentically. Contemplate what you would choose to do if you had only six months left. This perspective sheds light on the significance of your true passion in life. Society often fosters the belief that careers must be dreary and exhausting. However, work can be fulfilling and enjoyable, even with challenges. If your work-life balance is out of sync or your job feels torturous, perhaps it's time to reevaluate your career choice. Take Travone as an example. After being hospitalized for exhaustion, panic attacks, and depression, Travone sought the author's help to maintain his unsustainable lifestyle. Instead, he learned to delegate, prioritize sleep, and dedicate less time to work. Counterintuitively, working less and resting more might be the path to lasting success and well-being. Discover what truly sparks your passion and joy, and strive for a balanced life that brings satisfaction and lasting success. It's time to break free from the expectations of others and embrace your genuine self. Embrace growth with opportunity costs. The space to grow involves facing difficult choices and accepting their opportunity costs. To set yourself up for an ideal future, be open to embracing changes and sacrifices, such as relocating or taking a pay cut. Stay aligned with your dreams and purposes in life, and schedule regular meetings with yourself to set strategy, adopt a growth mindset, and raise productivity. Recognize that life is not perfect, and trust that your efforts will yield results. In the journey towards personal growth and success, we often grapple with challenging decisions, which entail opportunity costs. These costs arise when choosing one option necessitates giving up something else. Being aware of opportunity costs is crucial in creating room for growth and progress. Consider Almantas, who faced an opportunity cost when he was given the chance to move closer to his mentor and obtain his dream job. Doing so required relocating to a new country, a significant change for his family. Despite the challenges, Almanta succeeded, and soon outperformed his previous work performance. This demonstrates that sacrifices, such as moving, pay cuts, or returning to education, are small prices to pay if they align with your life goals. To stay on track, ensure you conduct regular number one meetings, self-check-ins that help monitor progress and adapt as necessary. These meetings are instrumental in nurturing your growth, and should revolve around three core objectives, strategizing, cultivating a growth mindset, and enhancing productivity. During these meetings, address questions like, how is my strategy progressing? Are my goals realistic? What resources can assist me? How can I eliminate distractions? Recognize that life is full of imperfections, and allow for mistakes while keeping faith in your hard work. By embracing the opportunity costs and regularly reflecting on your progress, 
you can create a growth space that ultimately leads to your ideal future. In summary, Create Space by Derek Draper unravels the secrets to achieving success in all aspects of life by adopting a growth mindset, focused on self-improvement and handling setbacks as learning opportunities. The book emphasizes the importance of space for reflection and learning, as well as fostering significant connections and relationships, which contribute to personal and professional growth. Key insights provided by the book include strategies for planning, enhancing productivity and focus, delegation, and recognizing core pathogenic beliefs. By mastering these critical skills, readers will be better equipped to navigate the complexities of life and career, ultimately leading to greater satisfaction and success.